3.2 Verbal Extensions In class our verbs can be changed by adding an extension at the end of the word, so using a suffix, for it to mean something different. This can both be helpful in learning vocabulary but also confusing. We're going to look at four different verbal extensions in this module. The first one there is what is called the applied extension when ela is added to the end of the verb and it changes the verb to um, when you do something, when you do that particular action for something or towards something. So best to look at the examples. If we look at funda, which means study, fundela, which means you're studying for or you're studying towards something. Sebenza means work. Sebenzela means work for or work from. Kela means tell, where kalela means to explain something, to tell for. Linda is wait. Lindela, when you're waiting for something. And vula, which is open. Vulela, which means you're opening for something or someone. So if we just look at a couple of examples quickly. Ndi sebenzela ekaya, I am working from home. Or you might see a sign in a, in a room, igumbi lokulindela, which means the room that is for waiting or the waiting room. Our next extension is, is used very often and is called the causative extension and these are very worthwhile learning. This extension creates a new word um, which means to cause that particular verb. And again, let's look at the examples. So again, we're going to use funda, which means study. But fundisa means you cause somebody to study or to learn, which is actually then the word for teach. Sebenza is work, where sebenziza is to use something. You're causing something to work. Tenga is buy, and then obviously tengiza, causing something to be bought, so that is sell. Boya is return, where buyisa is to cause something to return, so you're bringing something back. Za means come, where ziza, you call somebody to come, so to bring. Lala is sleep. When you make somebody sleep, um, we use it in the hospital often. If you're going to admit somebody, then um, the word for admit is lalisa. Kumbula is to remember, to cause somebody to remember, therefore to remind them would be kumbuza. And borna is to see where bonisa is to show. Recognizing the verb that forms the basis of your new word um, helps you with your vocabulary. Our third extension is the neutral extension, um, which creates something into an ability. These are very simple. The funda is learn, fundeka is it's learnable. Fundisa is to teach, fundiseka teachable. Tanda is to love, tandeka is lovable and it's often used also as a name. Funa is want. Funeka means desirable or necessary. Konda, understand. Kondeka means something is understandable. Um, and the word that's often used in Kosa is kufuneka, which means it is necessary. Our last verbal extension is called the reciprocal um, extension. And that is when you're an act of doing something for another or to each other. So again, if we just look at some examples, um, and you're going to add ana to the end of that verb. So borna means see, bonana means to see each other. Tanda again for love, tandana means to love each other. And vak means here, but one can also use it for to follow somebody or to understand somebody. So vana means to hear each other. Um, and the word siyavana, we understand or we hear each other, is often used. And we're already aware of sobonana, which is the future tense, we will see each other again.